Lambretta here. 41,000 miles on the clock. Looking lovely. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. Sorry? Scooter pet making friends here. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, back on the road. We just do some final fucking adjustments on this bastard. That's what I do for you YouTube bitches. Uh, some of my mates here. Um, a few w comments um, about I'm um, uh, Cassandra basically. Uh, when I first got this bike, I was unsure as to whether or not, you know, I should get back on a scooter. But I did, I did. Hello, is it? Gonna make a fucking run her over. But, uh, yeah, so, I got her anyway, done my CBT. Well, you're still a bit unsure, you know, because um, the two big disadvantages, and I'm going to talk about the subject in a little bit of, um, in a while, at more length, you know, um, I think the biggest disadvantages are that, you know, you are 16 times more likely to get smacked, hit, drop the bike, so to speak. Um, um, as you would relative to a car, you're 16 times more likely if you're riding around extensively. Um, not like me doing a, you know, a couple of thousand miles a year, but you know, someone who does 30, 40,000 miles a year, if you'd ride around extensively, you are 16 times more likely to get smacked by someone. Um, so, um, yeah, so that's basically one of the concerns here. But yeah, thunder thighs, Jesus. Um, so, um, yeah, um, yeah, so that's, and, and, and weather, weather really, but I don't really mind that too much. If you've got the right sort of kit on, Kajora kit, waterproof from a kit, you should be fine. The weather shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Um, you know, I don't wear leathers in the summer, so that's not too bad for me. Uh, at the moment now, I'm on the hunt for Capri Sun orange juice, orange drink, should I say, not fucking juice, um, from Iceland. So I'm going to go to Sudbury Iceland, I'm going to go to the nasty old Wembley. Um, I'm going to go to the Sudbury Iceland to go and get this. So, and on the way there, um, I've got a subject matter plan for today. You know, I've been thinking about it all bloody day, and a few motor vloggers have mentioned this, and I think I should, um, uh, uh, you know, talk about it a little bit as well. Um, which is straight filtering. Yeah, we well, fuck you. We did a filtering way. Let's go. Let's go and filter. Oh yeah, look at that lovely um, uh, Phantom Rolls Royce Phantom Phantom drop ring. Is that what they call, it, aren't they? Uh, yeah, talking a little. Yeah, talking a little about Cassandra first. Um, Piaggio Fly One Two Five, 2013 model or 2012 really. 2013. Uh, 20 years, it, it's, it's nice basically, um, it's a lovely scooter, um, and anyway, I, I had my, you know, apprehension, I was apprehensive about, you know, getting back on a scooter, you know, after 20 years, um, uh, hello, I don't think I'm really, don't think I'm going to be doing any sort of filtering here today, it's just like, just shit basically, it's bogus, um, so yeah, I was apprehensive about, um, uh, getting a scooter at first, um, but yeah, I, 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 you know, I could say since I've had a um, Cassandra, since how long have I had this bitch for? I've had it for a while, basically, and um, uh, I can say every day, you know, I, you know, it feels fantastic just getting on it, you know. And um, uh, you know, at first I liked her, uh, you know, the seat might have been a bit hard, you know. I asked needed a little bit of adjusting to the seat, um, as you can see my seating position now. I'm really relaxed with my feet. Um, it's just like being back in the old times, being back in a Honda City 50. Um, I'm going to filter this Citroen Zara here. Um, so, yeah, you know, um, it, it's been good being back on a scooter. You know, a, a motorbike's too intimidating for me to be honest with you. I ain't got balls for that sort of shit. Um, do like them, do rate those guys what they do on a motorbike, but I really ain't got the balls to be back on one. Um, anyway, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'm starting to love Cassie, yeah, you know, she's so forgiving, um, you know, she allows me to make mistakes and I, you know, and I, you know, and I get away with it, you know, all the time, 
and so she's really really forgiving um, and I'm, I'm just starting to fucking fall in love with this but I can really really say that you know I've become almost one with it you know um, it's a really really lovely bike you know better than a fucking Honda which everybody wants to get a Piaggio Italian styling you can't go wrong it's got its own individual type of styling and I want to apologize about one thing is my panting and puffing roof box and helmets really you know the acoustics are quite shite really and uh, maybe with another helmet uh, with my v-cam blinks I probably wouldn't have heard the um, Darth Vader-esque heavy breathing <sighs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I'll talk a little bit about the pros and cons of having a scooter in the UK, in London, primarily in London. Um, yeah, so Cassie is a really, really nice bike and I'm really happy. Um, right, we'll talk about the cons first, which is, yeah, you're 16 times more likely to get smacked on a scooter than you are if you were moving around or, you know, you know, going around in the car. Um, it's a nice golf in front of me, Blue Motion, Blue Motion technology, lovely golf, 2 litre TDI 2012, lovely golf in front of me. Um, so you're 16 times more likely to get whacked um, on a scooter. Um, the second disadvantage is the weather. Um, yeah, it can be shit to be honest with you, it can be crap. Um, but in London, we can get conditions that are equivalent to torrential rainfall. We've had the fucking snow. Um, we've had other, you know, hello, let's have a look. I haven't wanted to handle this. Um, he's going to be, he's going to let me through. Yeah, he will. Lovely, 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 lovely. Um, so I'm going to go straight today. Go, yeah, yeah, go straight. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I've got to get this vlog finished quickly. I'm just rambling on at the minute. Uh, yeah, really nice scooter. Uh, pros and cons. Yeah, so the cons are the, um, uh, the likelihood, you know, not likelihood, fucking hell, it's not like it's going to happen, Jesus. Um, you know, you're 16 times more likely to get smacked if you're riding around extensively on a bike, scooter, stroke, any type of motorized two wheel device. Um, as opposed to a car. Um, and the weather. Yeah, they're the only really two negative things that I can really fucking like, bang on about. Um, um, so I'm gonna give this, give this a fucking beans. Let's see what we can, what sort of um, uh, speed we can get up to. Are you looking down at 35? Ah, it's 40. It's 40, that's all it's going to do, mate. Yep. Um, yeah, so, uh, the advantages. Okay, um, the advantages are, uh, uh, you know, parking. Right. Anywhere in London you can park. We're well, not anywhere in London. A lot of local authorities, councils in London look favourably at um, uh, people, uh, you know, who commute using scooters and people who ride around in scooters they look quite favorably at um, these particular individuals so you'll find um, uh, you know parking is um, uh, you know it's um you, you, you're paying next to nothing really um, and there's lots and lots of free parking bases apps you can get for your iPhone to um, uh, tell you where you can basically park for free um, you can download many apps and I'll, I'll, I'll leave a link at the side to tell you which apps they are to tell you um, where there's free parking available basically um, you can use it for your Androids and your Samsungs and your iPhones as well sorry um, yeah so that's the about the free parking um, also the other thing is the um, uh, basically costs involved uh, with the scooters the less you spend the less it's going to cost you overall but then again you know, I bought this, you know, she's like brand spanking new, this, 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 you know, Cassandra is. My Piaggio 125 Fly. Can't fail to mention that. Piaggio, Italian designing and all that. Um, yeah, so it's a really, really nice scooter. Um, it's the cost, basically. £16 for Rotax. Fuel cost over the span of a year is around £250. I fill up like £5 of fuel every... Um, every three or four weeks really every three or four weeks um, and I get close to about 120 miles on a full tank on a scoot 
Yep, yep, yep. Um, five pounds, six pounds will get you a, a full tank of fuel. Um, um, cost of fuel, road tax insurance cost me 150. Fuel is about bollocks. I haven't done any filtering. I can't let my YouTube bitches down. No filtering. Hang on, that's a bit fucked. That's coming towards me. A bit silly of me. Um, yeah, so there's um, the cost of fuel, your road tax, your insurance £150, road tax is £16 a year. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? I can't think what else. I can't think what else. Thank you, mate, for letting me through there. Um, yeah, road tax, um, congestion charge. Right, parking, you can pay up to £20 at peak times in London to park your car, yeah? NCP car, well, I think everyone's aware of them. With this, you won't pay jack. You really won't pay jack, honestly. You will not pay a penny. Um, like, just say, I want to park free of charge. Uh, it's a no entry, don't want to break the law. Um, So, um, yeah, um, congestion charge, you're not going to pay a congestion charge, just clear. I've been to the city twice now, I've been to Kensington, Chelsea, didn't, you know, even dream of paying the congestion charge there. Um, it's more fun, the scooter is more fun, it's more interesting. Um, you know, cheers mate, nice one. You know, it's a lot more fun. Um, you know, it's, and it, you know, I, I one piece of advice before you decide to get back on a scooter, I advise you to get back on a bicycle for about three or four months. Get your balance back. Don't get on something like this. It's still a hundred, you know, um, oh, bollocks. It's still a hundred and twenty kgs of solid steel behind me. So get yourself a um, uh, what have you? Get yourselves a bicycle, a mountain bike. Get back on it. Get your balance back. Um, I have to stop recording now, unfortunately. Yeah, so those are just some of the benefits of um, uh, having a scooter. Um, let me just get my fucking money out. Um, get this pissing Capri Sun for the kids. So the benefits of having a scooter. Yeah, um, and it's a lot more fun, basically. You get to see shit that you wouldn't see in a car. Plus the car's boring, fucking box at the end of the day. I ain't got a fucking Maserati Quadraporte or a fucking Ferrari or a, you know, Mercedes CL63 or fucking something. It's just boring in a box, really. <laughs> With this, it's a fucking joke, honestly. Anyway, I'm gonna cut the recording short here. These people think I'm a fucking loony speaking to myself. Take this shit off.